Hello, my love. What a contrast to believe to be a limited form waiting for death in a world of figures, of forms, and everything is meant to die or to be beyond all the worlds of forms, beyond the physical universe, to be the light and love, the unlimited one, the invulnerable one, the one you are in truth. And one moment when you decide to be in the present, to be what you are, I'm not a body, I'm free, I'm still as God created me, what we repeat every day. And relax in this. I'm not a body, I'm free. For I'm still as God created me. I'm that. And now I understand that God Father, who has created you, who extended to you, has entrusted you with all the gifts, with peace, with joy, with eternal life, fulfillment, to share it with everyone. So literally, practically, you are the whole. There's only one mind. Just make that clear. You are the whole. There's no one but you. And all what you give, you give only to yourself. So all the forms you made up, they are not real. The mortal forms. You made them up out of the idea of separation from the source of life and love and joy. You give that up and say, no, no, no. I do not want to be playing God, the God of death, the devil, the God of diseases of conflict. No. The world I made up, you made it make it very clear to your mind. The world I made up has no cause in life, in love, in joy. But do I want to kill myself and everyone else? No. So I decide against all the striving I had in the past, all the ideas, to blow myself up. Because as a human, as a body, I'm nothing. A little pile of dust, water, dust, a little bit of flesh and blood and bones. That definitely is not me. I am the unlimited one, the holy one. I am the ruler of the universe, you can say, the protector of the universe, beyond the world of form, beyond, beyond the stars and moon and physical universe, there is me. God and I are one. Life is joy, life is fulfillment, life is all-embracing love. So that's what I am. So when I accept totally, fully, my true identity. Definitely this world is gone out of my mind. There is no world. That's the teaching of the Course. There is no world. But this is radical, very radical, but true. You cannot live in two worlds, and you cannot see two worlds. So we have to bring the two thinking systems of the Holy Spirit, the sharing of love and life and the Holy Self and of the ego together, only one remains because they cannot coexist. Either I'm the Holy Son of God, except in the present, my holiness and holiness beyond the world of form, or I identify with the form, with the body and with my and what my physical eyes see, then I am in hell and make up death and conflicts. And only with that jump, I'm not a body, I'm free, I'm still as God created me. Right back in the heart and the love arms of the Father. I am free. This goes in one instant, in the present. It's a decision. No one can make that decision for you. You must do it for yourself, my love. No one can do it, not even God, because you are as almighty as God. 
And with that might you have decided against the truth, against the Holy Self, against God, and made yourself a God. You put yourself on the throne and made up a world of images, which is not real. Everything is conflicting with everything and nothing is shared. And this we give up. It's not real. It's only hurting. We are one holy self and share that identity. That's the truth. And that makes us happy, only that. And if you compare yourself with anyone else, oh yes, she is more advanced or is more loved by God or whatever. This is ridiculous. This is so silly. You have to laugh about it, really. <laughs> this kind of thought. God has extended to us only son, one son, and that we all share. And that's all. And God loves us all equally, but as he has created us, equal. So we give up all those comparisons, all the stretching, because it is not real, and just embrace the whole creation. And as I'm the whole, I can only earn my own gratitude my own thankfulness, we can say. It can be but my gratitude I earn. This is the lesson of today, the repetition. I read now uh, the lesson to you, slowly. And we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to make that exercise a gift for the world. I remind, in the introduction that was said, when we understand one of those beautiful thoughts given by Holy Spirit and learn it truly, it can be but my gratitude I earn today and understand it fully with the help of Jesus and Holy Spirit, the whole world is redeemed. So when I'm the whole, and I'm the whole, there's only one mind. And I take over responsibility that everything I see with my physical eyes, I made up. I made up all those forms, all those images. It's not, not real. I let it go. I let it be corrected in my mind. I give it up. No men, no women, no children. No, you, uh, no animals, no plants, no cars, no houses, no towns. That was the world I made up, the world of death. I let it go. I let it go. It only has hurt me. There's nothing beautiful in that world, nothing. No striving in this world brings me anywhere. So today, I give it up. And I can, it, it can be but my gratitude I earn. So I embrace myself as a whole, and beyond the world of form, and I give my holy self to everyone. Okay, lesson 217. I'm not a body, I'm free, for I'm still as God created me. I'm still as God created me. Relax in those thoughts. I'm not a body, I'm free. I'm still as God created me. Unchangeable, invulnerable, the whole in God, beyond the world of form. All the treasures of God am I. I am as God created me. Repetition of the lesson 197. It can be but my gratitude I earn. It can be but my gratitude I earn. Who should give thanks for my salvation but myself? And how but through salvation can I find the self to whom I think my thanks are due? So it's my holy self and the whole cause is a love letter for my holy self to recognize me as I am, the holy son of God, the holy self, sharing my identity with God in every being. So that's all. I accept this or I do not accept it. That's all. It's my decision. Yes. Who should 
give thanks for my salvation but myself. Definitely. I'm the Holy Son of God. I'm the whole, I'm the one abundant Son of God, Christ. And this is what I share with everyone. But what about all the figures I see in this world? They are not there. They are only ideas in my mind projected. So the world I see seemingly outside, and I believe it's real, it's not there. It's only a projection. So when I change my, the ideas in my mind, there are no women, there are no men, there are no trees. There's only one Holy Son of God, me. I'm the whole. And I let them go. Then the real world emerges in my mind. I'm not a body, I'm free, for I'm still as God created me. It can be but my gratitude I earn. We reflect on this. It can be but my gratitude I earn. Love and gratitude go together. I'm the whole. I embrace the whole physical universe and the heaven. What feeling do you get? I'm one with God, embracing the whole universe. Just feel it. I'm the whole. And now tell yourself that I have been always in the Father. I never left the Father. I am still as God created me. And what is true for me is true for everyone. So I'm back home in the Father as a whole with you. And together with you and together with everyone being back home in the Father, the whole, the holy self. From that very position, I'm the liberated one, I'm as God created me. We embrace with God Father's love. <laughs> the whole faults made our world, reminding us that all I made there up is not real. All limited forms are not real. So what feeling you get? Feel it. Sense it. You are the whole. One with the Father, one with all back home. Feel it. God Father wants to liberate through your mind all the limited figures you made up. Wants to give life to your brother. You limited your brother in a form. Humans, animals, trees, plants. And God Father wants to liberate everything. And just accept that everyone is asking for forgiveness every being. Feel it. Hear it. And let God Father give love and life and peace through your mind. Unlimited mind. As a whole. To every being. Feel it. What you feel. What I feel is I'm that unlimited one and that God practically, when I open my mind to be what I am in Him, immediately takes over and is blessing through my mind. Every being, which I limited in a form. So He is, with His love, He is a source of life and love, is undoing my old attitude to project forms. There I was the god of death, playing the god of death, of limitation, of sickness, of that he is undoing, because I opened my mind to the truth, and is giving through my mind life, love to every being. And this fills me with tremendous joy. 
So what I give, I get. So my limited view was, I'm a body, I need air, I need food, I need respect, I want to live love, and I limited myself. I played a victim. Ah, please God give me, I devoted to God, and please give me, help me in my dream. No. I make that jump that I'm the Holy Son of God, I'm still as God created me, I accept this, it's my decision. And I ask God to bless for me all beings, which I projected out as ideas, which are not real, mortal forms, practically I tortured the Christ. I limited the Christ, I tortured the Christ. So I let go all the limited forms and see beyond the forms what? The Holy Son of God, the Christ. So that's the Christ vision. God is my strength and the vision is his gift. So I let it go, all my ideas I had. I let them be undone in my mind and it can be but my gratitude I have. I let it go. I embrace the whole, whole false, made-up world and just let God bless everyone. It can be but my gratitude I earn. So I am gratitude. I am thankful for every being. Because when I'm the whole, and I am the whole, there's only one mind, and I split it myself in billions and billions and billions of ideas and forms, I let them go, integrate them in my mind. Then I'm complete, then I'm whole, definitely, when I'm the whole. I'm in gratitude to every part of me. I integrate them and I'm thankful. So I'm thanking all brothers to make me complete, as God is thanking me, that I make him complete. Jesus is asking, after all those explanations, how you feel? Honestly. Joyful, unlimited, one with the Father, Almighty, and one with you, Jesus Christ. And when I remember any brother, yeah. What kind of brother did you remember? Don't say the name, he says. Well, a brother, uh, I have full faith that he is not shaking, that he accepts who he is and who I am in oneness and the Father. Question from Jesus, is he a great helper, tremendous helper? He really supports me in my beingness and helps me with his vision and I help him with his vision that we are one in God. And what about the other brothers who are attacking you? Comparing, judging, projecting. Well, uh, that's not easy. But when I, as I, have experienced the oneness with that brother in God, and I let go any idea of guilt, any, that I've made up this world, that I've made up death, etc. So then I let go, go totally the past and make that jump. Being one with that brother and God. Then Holy Spirit, through my mind, can undo all the past. And where there are projected, maybe, all the guilt, it's undone. And I just give and give and give. As you say in the Course, 
either the other one gives love or there is a call for love. And when I give love, as there is a call for love, attack is always a call for love. My giving is my receiving. Well, actually, I'm in God. I'm still as God created me. So how can anything, any attack or anything, just touch me? When it does touch me, then I have still guilt in me. And I pull, maybe, this attack. It's not maybe, it's sure. But when I do not have any guilt anymore, when I really accept the atonement, I'm free of guilt. Why is it possible? Because I'm back home as a father. I'm still as God created me. How can I be guilty? In God, I cannot be guilty. So in God is all there is. We are all back home as a father. There is no world. Only when I accept that fact, I can let go of the guilt. As long as I believe in that world, little a little bit, I buy in the whole hell. And definitely I'm in guilt. It's, it's unavoidable. And I'm suffering. And I'm in competition. No. The truth has to be radical. We have to jump into the truth. I'm the Holy Son of God. I'm as He created me. I'm one with the Father and one with all. Bus. No more. And that's it. No competition, no past, taking a new birth every moment, in the holy instant. That's what we do. And then I can only earn only my gratitude, because I'm the whole. And to be whole, I need everyone, everyone. And I'm in gratitude, thankfulness to everyone. And actually to me, I integrate the past I put out, I'm the whole. Read the text about the wholeness. Okay. I am who I am. I am the whole. Okay. Through the wholeness, I find the answer to life. The miracle of life is that the whole is remembering, recalling that I am the whole life. I am embracing the whole life. The paths and the systems do not have to be repaired, but I as a whole remember who I am the whole and love. Wholeness is love, and love is always whole. To liberate a part of the life, I only have to remember the whole. And the whole will honor me. So when I remember the whole, and you are the whole, and I'm the whole, we are all the whole. That's the healing. Healing is making whole. Beautiful. The whole will remember me and honor me. Yeah. So I remember to be the whole. I remember that everyone is a whole, and the whole itself remembers me and honors me. So when I let go of the past, when I let go of the false conviction of myself, I am back home in the Father. And the whole I am is honoring me. Isn't that great? So I receive all the blessings. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your gratefulness to yourself.